Always saying goodbye to cash. David Clark is from the campaign group Positive Money, which wants to see fairer money and banking systems. Hiya, David. Good morning. Good morning. We are gradually moving away from cash, whether it will eventually be cashless or not. What do you think? I think um, the majority of us at the moment choose to use cash on a regular basis. And if cash is going to disappear, it will be because we have that choice taken away from us. There's certain private interests that really want to see the back of cash. Banks and card companies. Banks, because it's expensive to provide their customers with cash services. Card companies, because they'll make bigger profits if we're all using cards instead. Um, They're on a mission to try and get rid of cash by reducing the funding for cash machines so that a lot of them are closing and taking away bank branches. Mm. We really need the government to step in. Um, to stop us sleepwalking into a, in a, into a society without cash, um, that will be bad news for the majority of us. Sure. I've noticed, David, that there's a lot of online payments that are made in businesses away from um, away from my job here. I, I have a little interest and I, outside of the BBC, Dave, and, and you know, our preferable way of payment is, is online. And I've noticed that the chip and pin companies have now really increased because they're noticing that as well, that fewer and fewer chip and pin transactions. And they've, they haven't half put up their commission rates, Dave. Hmm. I think, uh, you know, there, there has been a big take up of contactless payments and that's really the big trend we're seeing at the moment and yeah. it's good that people have the choice about how to use their money um, but what it's it's a problem when that choice is starts to be restricted so as you mentioned there's this story about a, a cafe in dublin that's refusing to accept cash and that's um, part of a growing trend um, of retailers stopping and accepting cash and it's likely that we'll see more and more of this over the coming years. If you look at Sweden which is arguably the country that has moved farthest towards getting rid of cash, becoming a cashless society, it's a very common thing that retailers just won't accept cash and they're really starting to worry about the effects of those groups Mm -hmm. um, who rely on cash for all kinds of different reasons and the effects of them being excluded from certain parts of the economy. If it was a cashless society, let's just let our imagination run right for a second, David. I believe that, for example, drug deals would dry up a lot. I mean, the drug dealer ain't going to take 50 quid on a card machine, is he? The importation of drugs, crime would stop. There would be no more bank jobs. Um, The inland revenue would be thrilled because there is a propensity to fiddle the books when you deal solely or mostly in cash. Do you agree? I think that's wishful thinking. I think criminals are always going to um, going to adapt to the new circumstances and find alternative ways of doing business. I think yeah. the the biggest effect of moving to a so-called cashless society is that we'll all be completely reliant on a handful of big banks to manage our money and make payments. If you want to use your money using anything other than cash, basically your only option is is to do so relying on the systems of a big bank. Even if you have your money with a credit union or a challenger bank, it's likely to be storing storing its money on the balance sheet of a big bank or using that big bank's um, systems to facilitate payments. That's a problem because it concentrates too much power in a handful of institutions. It means that we're all at risk um, when they're systems fail or when they experience a financial failure um, like in 2008. Um, And it's really important that we have a a form of public money that is safe for all of us to use. And and that means that we should continue to provide people with the option of using cash. And what business are you in, David? Are you in business away from positive money? I'm not at the moment, no. um Okay, so this is your job, isn't it? Yeah. The, the website and everything. Okay. Well, David, thank you. That was very, very interesting from Positive Money. That's .co.uk, is it? Uh, PositiveMoney.org. .org. .org. Nice to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Thank you, mate.